Hi everybody, I am back with another video and this time I wanted to do a traveler's notebook setup, a planner setup for my traveler's notebook in passport size. I also have a camel color for my passport but it is much lighter than my regular because I've used my regular a lot more but here's a comparison. So this is my uh, regular size and if you can see with them side by side my regular traveler's notebook is a little darker but that's also because I conditioned both of them and I have used the regular much longer and the Tina leather has darkened up a bit but I, I really like how it's still camel color and compared to my brown Midori traveler's notebook it's still much, much lighter. But anyways, let's get started with this video. And just in case you're wondering, I ordered my passport size from TokyoPenshop.com. And one of the reasons why I ordered it from them is because they offer free shipping if you buy anything more than $25 in their shop. And some shops don't offer that, so I decided to order from them. But you can also do other shipping methods with an additional cost. But um, anyways, let's get started. So as you can see from the spine, I do have additional uh, bands that I added. And this is because I don't like using the rubber bands, really, I don't because one is always either further than the others or it's always like this so I really don't like that and I found this method to be perfect for me so I am liking this and I'm sticking with this so when you first open it up you can see my craft insert And I don't really have anything in here at the moment, just for some um, post-it notes that I got from Hakobondo. That's a local Japanese shop here in Hawaii. And then I have my monthly insert, and this is just the undated calendar from Traveler's Notebook. And I just have a little post-it note here um, for events and other reminders that I need to know of and I also need to note it in my calendar but I still have to fill in the blanks before I can do that. So I don't really have anything in front. I like to keep it minimal, functional for me to use and I don't get distracted. So this is what my May looks like and what I like to do for this insert is I like to write down my bills when I have to pay them and these washi tapes were for my vacation days at work. So I would just note that just to let myself know that I am out and just a reminder and then I also like to put little holidays. Sometimes I'll decorate it or stamp it here and there but I just like to keep it really functional. And my June so far is pretty empty, except for my bills and reminders and events that I need to attend. And this is my July so far. It's still pretty empty, and I just have a few project deadlines that I've added. And this is August. Don't really have anything in the next following months. And I think this undated calendar comes with I think it's an 18 month kind of deal compared to the regular insert, the 2016 to 17 insert that uh, Traveler's Notebook uh, releases every year. That only comes with about 13 months, but it is dated so you don't have to take time to date them yourself. So this insert also comes with the time zone map as well as extra you know, paper for you to write on and the departure card. So that is it for my 
monthly answer and I just have another post-it note for project deadlines. And then I have stack cards from celebrations. I need to go and combine them at the shop. But that's really all I have. And then I just have a couple sticker because I have them laying around. And information. And then I just have a dollar for just in case I need it. A business card from Pocket Bundle. And then my bean counter stamp card. Which is going to expire in like the end of the month. another year and then after my monthly I have my weekly and this is also the undated weekly insert from Traveler's Notebook I don't have anything in front like I said I like to keep it minimal and simple I don't get distracted I write down what I need to do I read what I need to do and so for this insert, I'm also using it as a bullet journal light kind of deal. So I I just have um, events that I need to do. Uh, I'll write down any kind of I'll write down any kind of bills or payments or any kind of things that I need to do at home sometimes for work. But I like to keep work things in my work planner. But let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit so you guys can see how I'm setting or how I'm doing my bullet journal. So this is how I am doing my bullet journaling. I just like to draw little boxes for the things that I need to do. And then I'll also have little uh, lines for just either reminders or note to self kind of deal and then I also have a little asterisk so that means it's very important it's a project that I need to do and need to turn in and sometimes I'll add just like a little washi tape not really anything special but that's about it and then I just have this little paper thing for me to uh, make sure that my writing is straight. That is one of my secrets and I'm pretty sure everybody else does that but I'm waiting for my um, plastic uh, grid to arrive from, uh, I believe I ordered it from Miko Neko Zakaya on Etsy. Uh, other people, other shops have run out of the passport size so I'm really glad that she has it and this is the regular size if you guys were wondering so I have the week of May 30th to June 5th and then I have June 6th to 12th and it's probably a little too much information but when I have my period so I'll just draw a little red water drop for reminders because sometimes I forget to um, put it in my phone, the app that I use. So I just like to write it down, remind myself. So if I do need to go back and recall when I had my last period, I'll know when I had it. So this is this week and I have Happy Father's Day. I don't really like to write cursive in this planner because I like to keep it minimal simple, very organized, but I, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna make this an exception. Anyways, like I said, another washi tape. And I don't really have anything for much for next week except for writing on the dates and then it will be my um, grandpa's birthday on the 23rd and I have yoga and just a little chores that I do mainly every Saturday so I just like to write it down but because I like to keep this very uh, I would like to say precise I don't like to waste space here and I don't really like to 
write things down and then have to erase it or cross it off. So, so for me to avoid writing it in pencil and then having to write it in pen later or write it on a post-it note, I like to use these friction pens and I am using the 0 0.38 slim pens and one of the reasons why I like the 0.38 is because it's really tiny, I like to write small and these pens are erasable so if for example I need to do something on this on Sunday, let's just say, uh, let's just say laundry and I didn't have time so I have to write it like that, you can always go back and erase it just like that so that nothing is permanent but I can also leave it to be permanent if I wanted it to so these friction pens are very helpful I know you can get them on jetpens.com but I got mine at Paku Bondo here in Hawaii and after that I just have yoga and nothing else for July but I will I will write that in once I have time and that is for my weekly insert and then for the screen insert it is the grid I believe this is the 002 for the passport size like I said it's still empty I probably won't be decorating it but um, for this insert, I like to uh, write budget, things I need to pay, and I, I want to write my expenses on here, but I haven't gotten the time to do so. So I just save these um, paper, or these pages for that. And then I want to do a fitness restart, so at least be active 30 minutes of moderate exercise for a day. And then move 10 minutes every hour at work and walk my daily step goal on my Fitbit. And then I also have a note about Wabi Sabi and it is this concept of finding beauty and imperfection and accepting the natural cycle of growth and decay. So I am trying to embrace Wabi Sabi and as you can see from this table, I've extended my table. It used to be um, probably half the size that I have now, but it's just natural wood. And as you can see with the natural wood, it has its little imperfections, but I am embracing it and I really like it. And most of these skin marks are from my tripod. But that is that. And then I have list for when I go to do my Costco or grocery runs. Um, what I do here is I just do bullets and then write down the things that I need to buy. And then if I bought it, I'll just exit out in a diagonal manner. If I wasn't able to get it, I'll just circle it for me to go back and buy it later. So that's about it for this insert. I haven't really gotten around to writing more or sometimes I'll just write it in my um, regular size if it's more of a creative thing and then in my zip pocket I just have multiple stamps and clip stickers so these stickers are from washi tape it's the MT brand and what I did is put a um, a waxy backing on them and then cut them out so I can, you know, decorate with it if I really wanted to. But I just like to keep that there. And then I have, um, I have the Cherry Blossom uh, Friendship Stamps that Steph um, was able to give me. Thank you, Steph, if you're watching this. And then I just have more um, stamps that I could use if I was writing a postcard or if I was um, sending out a bill. But anyway, so for this uh, traveler's notebook, I'm really focusing on using it for functional planning, minimal, um, something that 
won't be distracting me. But um, anyways, I will link a, I will make sure to link the video where I did the punching of the traveler's notebook to show you guys how I did it. Thank you so much for watching my videos and for your comments and likes and I just wanted to thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart and I hope you guys like this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye!